Sarah from the Athlete Center. I'm going to show you a sideline drill you can do to increase your mobility in your upper back and your ribs. It's similar to the open book and it's actually a precursor that I recommend doing before the open book to encourage rib rotation and movement. So we're going to start on our side and we want our hips stacked on top of each other and it can be useful to use a foam roller to kind of lock out that uh, that pelvis so that we're isolating that movement through the upper back. You could also use a yoga block, um, something firm to put your knee on. If you don't have anything available, you can just leave your knee on the ground, but we want to maintain that pressure throughout. So not allowing that roller to roll or that pelvis to move as we go through the movement. Uh, you can either use your hand to support your head in a neutral position or just rest your head on a block or firm pillow. From here, we're going to put our top hand across our rib cage with a kind of firm grip. So almost like we're interlacing our fingers with our ribs. And we're going to use our hand to encourage that rib movement and mobilization as we go through this. So we're going to start with a nice inhale and thinking about expanding through the ribs as we breathe in. So we're trying to increase that space between them. And as we exhale, we're gonna open up our chest towards the ceiling and using our hand, we're gonna pull our rib cage into that rotation. Okay, so you'll notice that my lower half did not shift. I maintained a block here so that all that rotation is happening through the upper back and rib cage. I'm going to inhale, try to expand again, pushing into the hand with the ribs. Exhale, open up, trying to pull my ribs into that right rotation when I'm lying on my left side. So each time you can try and go a little bit further. And after you do a couple reps, that's when you can go into your regular open book because now you've encouraged that rib rotation and you're getting that movement through the upper back versus just the shoulder. So with our open book, we want that rotation to happen through the trunk first and arm just comes along for the ride. So give that a go. Obviously we want to do it on both sides. You might find that you're more limited or restricted rotating to one side. That's pretty normal, especially if you played any kind of rotational sports. Um, but what you can do is spend a little bit more time on the side that's more limited or restricted to see if you can balance that out a little bit. So kind of double the reps or double the amount of time you're spending rotating to that side that you're restricted on and seeing if that helps open it up.